Same for our weather. I don't feel as excited about our weather today. Yuck. <laughs> Here's a look at our temperatures right now. They are uncomfortable to say the least as we're starting off the morning. We're in the mid to upper 70s throughout the Piedmont. We're in the low 70s in the foothills and even the mountains are right around 70 degrees. Our dew points adding to how uncomfortable it is. Anytime we hit 70 for a dew point, we are noticing that it's kind of uncomfortable, stifling, and we're in the mid 70s right now in a lot of our forecast area. That's only part of the story. So when it's not raining, this is what you'll be dealing with heat and humidity, but when it is raining, we've got heavy downpours moving through the area. Here's a live look at radar where we're mostly watching those storms as they come in from Tennessee at this point, and you can see that they've brought some serious issues to parts of Tennessee. Flash flood warnings in effect near Knoxville at this point down near Chattanooga. They've got such heavy rain and also a lot of lightning there. As we're looking at our severe storm risk for today, we've got that level two severe risk in yellow. That's a slight chance for severe weather. That that bright green is a marginal. That's a level one. And in the mountains, I'm not expecting severe storms, but of course, even a non severe storm brings heavy downpours and it also brings that life threatening thunder and lightning. Let's talk more about those heavy downpours, taking a look at some of our estimated rainfall for other parts of the country here. As we look towards Knoxville, take a look. We're in the yellows, oranges, reds, purples there. So very heavy rain has fallen here over the past couple of days or past couple of hours, excuse me, because this is only the past 12 hours. And if you want to know just how much rain has fallen, let's see here. Let's pick a few points there. Seven inches of rain estimated by radar right now. Now, of course, these aren't the final amounts. The weather stations report those, but radar is estimating seven inches of rain near Knoxville. No surprise as to why those flash flood warnings are in effect. Almost seven inches in that location there. Even these yellow spots, which are wide swaths, over two and a half inches of rain has fallen so far. So you can see that by and large, heavy rain causing isolated flooding is our biggest threat today. That's true of the morning storms and the afternoon storms. The afternoon storms will bring also a lot more lightning, damaging winds and the threat of hail as we go through the triad and the foothills especially. I know this is kind of confusing because we've got those two different waves of storms and kind of a break in between. So here's how you can think of it. For the morning in the triad, we've got those downpours and in the foothills and the mountains, we've got storms. The afternoon wave of rain brings severe weather to the triad and to the foothills as well. This is a level two threat of severe, a level one threat of severe, and in the mountains, showers and downpours, but not that severe threat. So here's a look at the 12 hour forecast. As we head into the afternoon, temperatures get to the low 90s feels more like the mid 90s, of course, and that impact in the afternoon. The foothills have an impact in the morning and then again in the afternoon because of those storms and downpours, both time frames, and then that severe weather in the afternoon. And then in the mountains, our biggest impact is in the morning there. Here's a look as we head through the next couple of hours. This is 830 AM during that morning commute, dealing with heavy rain, that brief break about lunchtime. And then as we head into the later part of the day, these storms right here into the evening, really is when we're expecting that severe weather. So here's a seven day forecast. Very busy day, lots going on there. As we head towards Saturday and Sunday, mid 90s feel like the triple digits. So those are impact days as well.